Welcome traders to another Ticknell earnings report preview with me Patrick Mundley. Before we jump into today's report, as always we want to adhere to the risk disclaimer. And most pertinent to today's presentation is the fact that the views expressed by me are solely mine and they are not indicative or representative of those held by Ticknell UK or Ticknell Europe Limited. Okay, let's jump into today's report and we are looking at Moderna. Moderna are set to announce before the open of New York trade today. We're looking for an EPS earnings per share $4.50 on revenue of $4.23 billion. I would note there is an earnings whisper on the street that uh, EPS could come in as high as $4.61. Current EPS though does represent a 13.5% decline year over year and the revenue uh, $4.23 billion represents a 9.2% year-over-year decline. Over the last three months, EPS estimates have seen two upward revisions and five downwards. Uh, revenue estimates have seen three upwards and five downwards as well. The company's stock rose 5.81%. On May 4th, the date reported its Q1 results beating analysts' estimates. COVID-19 vaccine, Spike Vax, made up uh, 5.9 billion sales ahead of the 5.1 billion in consensus. A report in July noted that Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna may post sequential decline in uh, COVID vaccine sales with their Q2 earnings reports. However, when Pfizer's Q2 results showed that COVID franchise continued to exceed forecasts, uh, the demand for Moderna's vaccine is still there as the, in July, the company secured 1.74 billion contracts from the US for its bivalent Omicron adaptive booster shots. The government is reportedly mulling plans to launch a booster campaign with the Omicron adaptive vaccines in September. Moderna and the EU agreed in June to push back delivery of the COVID-19 vaccine to allow for member states to receive the booster shot later in 2022 or 2023. While the US FDA has stated that the future COVID-19 booster shots should specifically include protection against the BA4 and BA5 Omicron subvariants, the European Medicines Agency noted that protection against original Omicron, uh, Omicron strain should be included in the vaccine boosters. Moderna's Omicron booster vaccine has shown response against subvariants in a trial. Moderna is part of a groundbreaking summit in July that the White House convened as part of a broad initiative to develop next generation of COVID-19 immunizations. The company's COVID-19 vaccine also got approvals in Australia and Canada for younger children. In June, uh, Moderna noted that instances of rare heart inflammation, myocarditis among children after receiving their COVID-19 vaccine are extremely rare and is higher overall in patients that come down with COVID. During the second quarter, Moderna announced plans to set up an MRA vaccine manufacturing facility in the UK. And the company also intends to invest 500 million euros in Spain and open a laboratory there to strengthen its vaccine production. Let's take a look at some of the statistical trading patterns around uh, Moderna earnings releases. The MRA shares have moved higher in the immediate aftermath of earnings 7 out of 12 previous reports. On average, the stock moved up 3.3% in the first day of trading after the company reported earnings. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, MRMA is more likely to trade lower one day after earnings for an average loss of 1.5%. On average, the stock has moved lower by 4.5% one week after earnings. From a volatility perspective, options traders are pricing in an 11.3% move on earnings. However, the stock has averaged a 7.7% move in recent quarters. Let's take a look at the flow and sentiment perspective here. There's been notable buying, 1,797 contracts of the $170 upside call expiring on Friday. Options order flow sentiment in general has been bearish. Investor sentiment going into the company's earnings release has 55% expecting an earnings beat. Um, Moderna share price has drifted 4.2% uh, post earnings announcement. Using the last 12 quarters of data, the average drift between earnings announcements is 27.6%. Let's pull up the chart and see what we can uh, identify as potential trading opportunities here in, uh, in Moderna. So two scenarios I'm tracking here, and I've got a specific pivot price point, uh, which is going to 
identify either the bullish or the bearish scenario. So in terms of the bullish scenario on the daily time frame, we have a, an impulsive sequence here. We are still trading within a, a downward sloping channel. Um, but as long as we hold this 150 level, then I've been looking for a breakthrough 172.70 to engage on the long side, looking for a move through the trend channel resistance. And we actually then have a technical upside objective of $216, which represents an equality swing versus this swing structure. Now, that obviously would uh, be on the basis that these call buyers are on the right side of the market and we are, are going to extend to the upside. However, if we take out this high volume mode on the daily time frame here at 141.50, that would be a bearish scenario for me. And uh, certainly any close through uh, 124, taking out that weekly trend line support, again, would open downside to my mind. And we'd be targeting the high volume mode at 66.14. So really want to pay attention to if we can hold this 150, uh, 151, 152 area, then we're targeting the upside objectives. But if we take out the 142.30, then we're looking to the downside. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.